but now it's time to review the awesomest boy band ever. They're our number one. Give it up for the best-selling and most beloved boy band of all time, the Backstreet Boys. The Backstreet Boys video, it's like I hit puberty while I watched that video. They had a little bit of swagger, right? So they had soul. Brian Thomas the Terrell was probably my first crush. <laughs> they were the total package. The record-shattering, heart-melting, awesomest boy band in the history of the world was the brainchild of one man with a plan. And a plane. Lou Pearlman used to operate a private plane leasing business, and he saw these kids renting his planes. He was like, really? A group full of kids makes this much money? I gotta get me one of those. AJ, Kevin, Nick, Howie, and Brian's self-titled debut album came out in 1996 and sold a staggering six million copies. Then they started getting popular. I went to a Backstreet Boys concert and it was insane. Girls were screaming and crying and like trying to touch them. We had girls stow away on the bus. We've had girls sitting in our dressing room. We've had girls jump up on stage. Like, I've seen my fair share of boobs in my life. But when a girl flashes you on stage to this day, I still think it's cool. By the time the Backstreet Boys released their 1999 album, Millennium, they were a full-fledged phenomenon. Millennium, which featured the iconic single, I Want It That Way, sold a record-breaking 1.1 million copies in the first week. The Backstreet Boys have the distinction of latching on to one of the most inescapable songs of the last 15 or 20 years. There's almost no one in America who's not gonna sing along if you start singing, I want it that way. You are my fire. To know that it's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is one of the best songs ever written. It's just like, damn, makes me go, God, I wish I wrote that song. <laughs> I Want It That Way is the best boy band song of all time. That song as a whole defined that whole era of boy bands. I want it that way. You want it what way? What way do you want it and how do you want it? What are you talking about? The song makes no sense. Fans didn't care and sent the album to diamond status. Yes, there is such a thing. Platinum was a million. Diamond is 10 million. Millennium was three diamonds. It was crazy. The boys took a hiatus in 2001, but when they came back a couple years later, their fans were right where they left them, drooling for more. I embrace it. I love it. I'll always stop and take a picture. I'll always stop and sign. Except when I'm eating. When I moved to LA, my box of Brian Thomas Luttrell things moved with me. I've lived in LA for almost 10 years, and this, with some other pictures, are still under my bed. In an attempt to explode the ovaries of their maturing audience, the Backstreet Boys joined forces with New Kids on the Block in 2011, dropping yet another top 10 album. Their 2012 NKO TBSB tour grossed 40 million in the U.S. alone, and an international leg was quickly scheduled. 15 years later, they're still selling out arenas. They're just a magical, awesome formula. They sing like angels, sliding down a rainbow, sent from heaven, and they can dance. I mean, if that's not a formula for I love you, then I don't know what is. It's great. I love my job.